Hello, it's Pyram King, and I'm super excited to bring to you the Foundry Adventure Modules and a new, easier, and better way to import them into your world and your game so you can just jump in there and get, get to it. Now, a big thank you to Blair, the developer of Scene Packer, and the amount of time that he spent with me hours at a time uh, learning how, teaching me how to put my scenes and my modules together to make them easy for you to import. Now, a big thanks to you, my Patreon supporters. It's your support and your encouragement that gets me to up my game, keep on putting out great content. And of course, I'm responsible to you to make it easier for you to import these Foundry Adventure modules. Now, Blair will be on our Discord channel in the Patreon section. If you have any questions or you need any help uh, importing these Foundry Adventure modules, he can help you out. But I hope that this video will show you how simple it is. The only time you're ever talking to Blair on our Discord channel is to say thank you or hello. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've got a clean, fresh install of Foundry. I'm gonna be self-hosting on my laptop and I'm gonna show you how to install these modules. I have my world set up here, and if we click over on my modules, you'll see I have no modules installed. The first module I'm gonna to need to install is the scene packer. So I'm gonna type in the scene packer, and I'm gonna hit install, and there it is. Scene packer is now installed. It's the only module I have installed. Now if you look in the installed modules, and you start looking for Pyrum King or Foundry Adventure Modules, you're not gonna find them. These adventure modules are only for you, my Patreon members. And the only way to get them is to become a Patreon member and go to the website. Now, in my Patreon webpage, you'll see the Foundry Adventure Module. This one is for the Bone Grinder. This includes maps, lights, walling, music, uh, roll tables, actors, items, journal entries, everything you need to run this bone grinder scene, including links back to D&D Beyond, both to the SRD free content, and if you do own Curse of Strahd and you just want quick access references to Curse of Strahd at D&D Beyond, those links will take you right into Curse of Strahd in there. I'll just click on them to show you how those work. Of course, you do not need D&D Beyond to use this module. If you already own the book Curse of Strahd and you just want to reference it out of the book, uh, you can do that as well. So how are we gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna copy, you're gonna see a link on the page. You're gonna copy and paste that link. Hit Control Copy. By the way, if you are a Forge user, there is a zip file of this as well. So there's a zip file of this module. If you wanna do it, uh, install it from a zip file, or if you're a Forge user, you're gonna download the zip file and you're, you're gonna use the Forge import wizard to import this zip file and it will install the module that way. Really, really easy. We're gonna, we copied and pasted it. We're gonna go back to the install module and you're gonna notice at the bottom here, it says manifest URL. You're just gonna click copy and paste or control V, hit install and you're gonna notice at the bottom screen a blue line as it's installing the module there along the bottom of the screen. And that's it. You're pretty much done. We only have one more step. You just copy and paste the link it installs the module, there it is, uh, Pyrams King's Bone Grinder. We're gonna go into the game world, launch the game. Now, just like with any other module, you're gonna have to activate that module. So we're gonna go over here to the gear gears up here, click on Manage Modules. You're gonna click on Parm King's Bone Grinder. It's gonna remind you that it's dependent on Scene Packer, so you click Yes, and it'll highlight Scene Packer. You're gonna hit save and it's gonna begin installing it. Now, uh, Scene Packer does use, not for my modules, but does use the lib wrapper library. If you don't have it, it's just gonna give you a warning message. If you have it, it won't pop up. It's nothing to be concerned about. So I'm just gonna let you know before it pops up on the screen. Hit save and it's gonna say, there it is, the uh, little warning message about the uh, lib wrapper module. You can just say understood or don't remind me again. And now it's gonna ask you, import the bone grinder. Would you like to import and unpack the scenes from this module? You can say, yes, import all. And there you go, it's gonna start importing the um, bone, grinder bone grinder scene, the actors, everything, and all the compendiums. Everything's in a compendium, which is awesome. So you can just pull, and pull from the compendium if you need to. What's gonna be installed are the the actors and the scene that's active when you activate the scene. I'm gonna show you how that works right here. So everything's done. You're gonna notice that you're gonna have uh, some folders in here um, for everything that's gonna be in the scene. And if you click on the compendium, you're gonna notice that you have a 
Palm King Compendium Bone Grinder. It's going to have all the actors in here. You're going to have the Bone Grinder items. We've got some items in here. The journal entries, they're all in here as well. Um, we have playlist and we have a roll table as well in here. So if we go back up here to the scene and we click on scene and we just hit activate scene, there it goes, it's gonna activate scene and we got everything ready to go. The lighting's in there, there's already an actor in here. These green arrows are marking where you're gonna to wanna to, uh, uh, put in um, your multi-level uh, token so that your, your tokens can move between the different levels of the, the, the bone grinder windmill. And we also have uh, in here some actors. These are the actors that are already in the scene. We have Bella, Myrtle, and Ophelia. You're gonna to have to go to the compendium and for the bone grinder if you want Morganatha. And you can go ahead and pull Morganatha either into the folder over here like this and just drop her into the folder. Or if you wanna put them right onto the scene, you can just drag whatever you want to right into the scene just like this. Now, if you want to drag something into the scene, by the way, this little tip invisible, let's say you want Morganoth to show up, but you don't want your players to show up, you can hold the Alt key down, hold the Alt key, hit uh, left click on Morganoth, hold it down and drag her out there, let go, and you're gonna see that she drags out and it's dropped invisible, and you can just make her visible when you want to. So if you're gonna drag something out of your, of your actor's folder, uh, you can drag them out invisibly. I highly recommend that, especially if you want a surprise or you're prepping something right in the session, you're, you're dragging monsters in there or creatures in there. That's how I would do it. You're gonna notice there's nothing in the items directory because those items aren't in the scene. Um, but if you do go to the items uh, uh, right here, we have the Parm King items and we have the hag side, the soul bag and the vial and all the information is in there as well. You can see and including links, again, links back to the D&D Beyond, uh, both the free SRD stuff and the Curse of Strahd stuff. If you click on that, it's gonna just show you the spell there. If you wanna read more about the spell, it's just right, right inside there. So we're good to go. And we have a roll table in here as well. I'll show you the roll table. This roll table was uh, developed for the Hag's Bargain. So if you just click on this roll table and you can hit uh, roll, and I'll just roll in there and it's gonna say your tongue. If you wanna know which one it is, it is under the, uh, the vials of the bargain and you can access this either through a journal entry or in here, it'll tell you in here. And that was the number 10, that was your tongue and you can just read about what it does right here. PC that accepts this deal gains disadvantage on all social charisma based checks. So that's all of this stuff is just already right in there. And again, as I mentioned before, if you are playing with um, Curse of Strahd D&D &D Beyond just to make your life easier, I put links right into those sections in D&D &D Beyond. Of course, you're gonna have to own D&D &D Beyond for those links to work. But if you own the book, you don't really need D&D &D Beyond. Well, you've got uh, all the text here and you can just use the book there at your table. So, and as well as all the additional text that I've I've put in there in my own special encounters. Well, that's it. Again, thank you so much, Blair, for helping me out putting these together. They're available on Patreon. I'm gonna be updating the old Foundry uh, adventure modules, and I've got a couple of new ones I'm pushing out right now, I'm working as quickly as I can. Thanks again for your support to my Patreon members, and may all your roles be critical 20s.